My daughter just graduated fifth grade. She's growing up so quickly, and she's the best kid, and she makes me so proud. I wanted to celebrate and spend some time together, so I planned a week of camping and adventures in the mountains for us. She was excited to swim in the lake, and I was excited to see what kind of wildlife we'd see. With our bags packed, we hit the road and traveled to Sharondo Lake in the George Washington National Forest. Our goal for the first night was just to get there, set up camp, and enjoy the night by the campfire. This is the call of the Eastern Whippoorwill. It's my first time hearing this call. It's a nocturnal bird, relatively rare, and a really good start out here in the George Washington National Forest. So we're here at camp, sitting by the fire, getting ready to turn in for the night. Belly's full, tents are ready, and we're gonna get up in the morning for a sunrise hike. I think we're gonna go settle into our tents, listen to the beautiful bird calls, and um, get up bright and early for our hike. So, um, hey, we'll see you at sunrise. We had a lovely hike on the first morning. We'd hardly gotten away from the campsite when we spotted a doe and her fawn. And just a stone's throw away, I captured my best image of a black and white warbler to date. As the weather turned warm, we came across some white-breasted nuthatches cooling off in the shade by the creek. By far though, the most interesting thing we saw on our morning walk was a nest of baby robins. Okay, so we were checking out this amphitheater right behind me. And I don't know if you can see it, but we we spotted a robin's nest right here in the top corner. Uh, so I have an idea. I've grabbed my 105 macro lens and I don't want to disturb these babies. So I'm going to keep my distance, but I can see them sticking their heads up right now, waiting for mama bird to come back. So let's see if we can capture a few photos and get out of their way. After visiting the baby robins, we headed back to camp. In the National Forest, there is absolutely no cell service, meaning that when we settled down to eat dinner, we were completely unaware that a line of severe thunderstorms was headed directly our way. 
the blue skies slipped to darkness and we quickly had to scramble to take shelter in the car. We were pummeled by hail. Eventually, the hail turned into rain. After several hours, the storm subsided and we were safe to sleep in our tent. The next morning, with the storm behind us, we decided to drive along one of the most scenic roads in all of America. Well, good morning. It is day two, and we didn't die in that horrible hailstorm. We made it. So, um, to celebrate our... No, <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> Hold on. Bird. Oh, that's a cedar waxwing. Holy smokes. It's a cedar oh, waxwing. On me, on me. There's a cedar waxwing right there. We were filming a bit and a cedar waxwing just landed. Oh, there it goes. I actually think I got a photo of it. Whoa, I wasn't expecting to see one of those. All right, Freaking, gotta hurry up. This is the hardest thing in the entire world. <gasps> Hold on, that's a summer tanager. Scar Scarlet tanager. Right there in the tree. Oh, I got it. I got a shot. It's that's freaking awesome. That's freaking awesome. What is it? A scarlet tanager. I, that's a lifer for me. Oh man, it flew right into this little, right into this little like gap in the tree. Um, we are out touring one of the most beautiful drives in all of America, the Blue Ridge Parkway, and what a sight it is. So we're going to be making all kinds of stops along the way, hoping to see some birds, getting some cool drone footage, and I'll share it all with you. We're off to a great start and um, let's go have some fun. The Blue Ridge Parkway was ripe with birding opportunities. Like this eastern bluebird, I just love this shot. I even spotted a dark-eyed junco. The ones in my hometown had left in April, and I thought maybe this little fella had been lost. I later learned that they actually don't migrate to Canada like I thought, but they travel to the mountains and breed in higher altitudes. When we finally made it back to camp, my patient graduate got her wish, and she went swimming in Sharondo Lake. Even when we weren't out birding, I couldn't help but notice that there were birds all around us. There were four geese living in the lake that for some reason every man, woman, and child there liked to harass and chase. Back at the campsite, we noticed a little chipping sparrow who we affectionately named Chippy that would stop by throughout the evening and visit our campsite looking for crumbs. After a nice night by the fire, 
We said goodnight to Chippy and turned in. The next morning, we'd be once again driving along the Blue Ridge Parkway. Our second day on the Blue Ridge Parkway was as beautiful as the first. There was so much to see and take in, but one of the biggest highlights for me was an indigo bunting at the top of a mountain. There was a single branch for it to perch on while it sang its song. I also really love this photo of a gray cat bird. The wildlife we saw was amazing and the scenery was stunning, but all in all, undoubtedly, the best part of this entire trip was getting to share it all with my little chickadee. Thanks for watching this week. This was a special one. We'll see you in the next video.